Another day, another decommitment in the state of Texas. Colton Vasek just announced on social media that he has flipped from the Oklahoma Sooners to the Texas Longhorns. Let's bring in national analyst Sam Spiegelman to talk about the big news. Uh, Sam, Colton Vasek, six foot five edge rusher. Why today? Why the Longhorns? Yeah, this is this has been in the chamber brewing for for some time, and um, you know Texas they, they live up to their motto: all gas, no brakes. This is a, a kid from the city of Austin, a Texas legacy. His dad played at the University of Texas, plays for the prominent hometown high school football team, but has been leaning out of state for the bulk of his recruitment. Clemson, Oregon, eventually Oklahoma won out his commitment, but you have to credit Steve Sarkeesian, Coach Kwiatkowski, the defensive coordinator at Texas, uh, for continuing to recruit Vasek. He's been on campus this fall. He's seen the improved play of the Texas defense, a lot of more sack production. Um, guys like Jalen Ford and, and Baron Sorrell, and he's taken notice. The momentum is, has kind of swirled in, in Texas' favor. And as Austin Westlake prepares to make a, another run at a state championship, he gets his recruitment out of the way. Yeah, and to add insult to injury, the Longhorns leap the Sooners, going from number seven to number six in the on three team rankings. Sam, my question to you is, does Texas have enough left out on the board to become a top five team in the team rankings? Yeah, uh, the way that things are trending right now is, as we're hitting the, the stride of recruiting season, as you know, um, they're making moves and they're making moves with, with top tier talent, especially within the state of Texas. In, in, in flipping Vasek away from a rival in Oklahoma, they've already you know leapfrogged Oklahoma, like you mentioned. This weekend is a very big weekend for the University of Texas. They're going to get the number one linebacker in the country out of Denton on campus, Anthony Hill. Um, Texas is right now trending on the RPM for Hill. They're going to get a top 100 athlete, Jelani McDonald, um, consensus top 13 athlete in the country from Waco, Texas. He will be on campus. They are also trending on the RPM for him. Uh, with a few schools in, in still in, in front of them, like Notre Dame, they're trying to hang on to their five-star safety, Peyton Bowen, who, by the way, will visit Austin this weekend for the big game against TCU. Um, if, if a few of those dominoes fall, I expect Texas to be either close to the top five or with such a strong class that the ranking's not even going to matter. What about Oklahoma? Do they have anybody else on that commit list that they need to worry about? Yeah, the one in particular that's really standing out is four-star wide receiver Anthony Evans from Converse Judson. Um, the speedy playmaker was in Athens last weekend. Um, he's been to Athens a few times. He took his official visit in Georgia. The Bulldogs were trending after that visit. They were trending in August before he made his decision. Oklahoma was able to, to kind of cool things down and get him on board. Listen, he's got a great relationship with Oklahoma commit Jackson Arnold, but Vasek was another reason why Anthony Evans was committed. Um, you know, with Vasek now out of the mix, Oklahoma's working hard to hold on, but I like where Georgia's at, and, and they're going to have a fight until December. All right, Sam, before I let you go, what type of player are the Longhorns getting in Colton Vasek? He's an absolute stud. You mentioned he's six foot five. He's 225 pounds. He's someone that came on really, really strong toward the back end of his junior year and in the state championship game against Denton Geyer. He had three sacks. He was a defensive MVP, and you saw his recruitment take off right after. Um, as a senior, he's continued to kind of develop his body, develop his frame, and improve his pass rush technique. He can win with speed. He can win with power. He's got double-digit sacks already, and he's about to enter a critical stretch where all eyes are on him in the playoffs. I think he's going to be on the cusp of five-star status before it's all said and done. So I think it's a major get for, for Texas as they try to really bulk up on in-state kids and, and really national-level talent. All right, Sam Spiegelman, thanks for weighing in on this monumental flip. Colton Vasek goes from Oklahoma to Texas. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for me and remember to check out all the videos on the On3 YouTube page.